Thank you for such a warm welcome. Well, I want to get one thing out of the way right up front. I don't have any big announcements today. <laughs> Instead, I want to share with you uh, the future of creators and tell a little bit more about what ConvertKit is doing to affect that. Six years ago, when I started ConvertKit, the landscape uh, for creators looked completely different. Uh, there were a paralyzing number of options uh, for you to choose from if you were trying to be a creator, connecting with your fans. Now, over the years, many of those companies have become less relevant. And during that time, ConvertKit's actually grown quite a bit. Now, something interesting has happened uh, over the last six months in particular that I want to talk to you about. The first thing is that, well, these are the four main companies that creators are really choosing from, or we're really choosing from. But what started to happen is it started with Drip. They made an interesting move where they decided that instead of being in the space focused on creators, they wanted to go after what they called the eCRM market and go after large enterprise uh, e-commerce companies. And so they doubled their pricing and they left our market. That was surprising. So we looked at this smaller landscape and then we looked at Active Campaign. And they've built a great product. They've been uh, great competitors over time. And then they made an interesting move when they really started to see Intercom and tools like that as their competition. And they started building in inbox tools and more CRM functionality. And they have gradually left our market. And this is really where this section of the talk was going to end. Us and MailChimp really focused on serving creators. And that's OK. That's where we've been for a long time. MailChimp is always the biggest player. We're used to that. But then two weeks ago, MailChimp did something really interesting. They announced that they see an all-in-one marketing platform and going and competing with HubSpot as the future of their business. So they increased their prices. And they also started to make some changes that were really interesting and really just unfriendly to creators in charging you for people who have unsubscribed and those who are no longer interested in your content. And so MailChimp has left our market. <laughs> and so what I'm really trying to say is, at this point, you have no choice but to use us. <laughs> I'm kidding. In all seriousness, this has the whole team at ConvertKit and me thinking, where does that leave us? These companies are run by smart people. They're growing quickly. What do they see that we don't? And I've been thinking about this. Honestly, they're following a tried and true process of growing companies. This is what lots of, of software companies do. They're using your money to go after bigger and bigger companies. They are starting with the small creators, learning from that, getting traction. And then they're saying, that's nice. Now we're going after the enterprise. So if you were in, your, in our position, if everyone else in the industry got up and left, what would you do? Well, we're doing the only thing that feels right to us at ConvertKit, and that's what we're doubling down on serving creators. So as a creator, no other company has your back like ConvertKit. And with that, I want to transition to what we've built to help you grow your audience and connect with your fans. And to start with that, I want to introduce you to Jordan Aspen. So Jordan's a writer and a storyteller. This year, she started growing her audience using ConvertKit landing pages, this one in particular. She quickly set up a landing page and started gathering subscribers. And in the month of April, she added 75 subscribers to her list and kickstarted that growth with this landing page. We also hosted what we call the landing page challenge in April. And Kara Leiden won this with this landing page. And she built the landing page really, really quickly. Actually, Holly, who designed this landing page, is here in the audience. She came all the way from New Zealand to be with us. So excited to have her here. And these pages are incredibly easy to build. 
and I want to show you how that works now. So as we go into this, we start by creating a template or selecting a template. You can browse by use case. We're going to, uh, you know, what else would we do but host a, uh, host a meetup. So uh, we'll call this a, a creator meetup. Uh, it's obviously going to be right here in Boise, Idaho for craft and commerce. That makes sense. Who's enjoying Boise so far? You having a good time? Perfect. So you can edit any of the content on the page really easily. Just click on each thing that you want to change. Drop in you know, the date and time for the event, um, the details, where people should expect to hang out. Uh, you can change any of the colors. But what I want to show you is choosing images. You can drop in recent uploads really quickly. But the more special thing is now we have a direct integration with Unsplash. So you have thousands of photos readily available right there in just a second. So with this case, in this case, we have a beautiful template. And then uh, you can fill in photos, change background colors, and all that really, really quickly. And we now have our Meetup template ready to go in about a minute. It's pretty straightforward. So um, this says that I've got 13 minutes left in my talk. So I don't think we can build landing pages for all of you. But we can certainly get the whole first row. Does that sound good? <laughs> I'm just kidding. OK. I want to show you how powerful images are, because that was just one example. So in this case, we're going to take the same template and use two or three totally different looks. So if we drop in a city image, we can put this in place and change the background color, fade the image over the background, and create a unique look. Now I can go to my recent images and pull up a profile photo to drop in. That's nice and quick. And that creates a unique look to the template right away. But let's change this. Let's go a totally different direction. Let's go find a new nature photo. Uh, there's one down here that's nice and clean and minimal. Uh, obviously, that background color doesn't work, so let's choose something a little different. And then let's change the button color to go ahead and match. And now we've created from the same template a totally different look in about another 45 seconds. Let's do it one more time just to show different examples. Lauren's an artist. So we'll throw in a more art-focused background. Set the opacity on that to 100% to make the background really show well. And then change the button color to match. So that's something where really quickly we're able to create three distinct looks from one template and get up and running immediately. So our goal with this is really to help you go from idea to viable audience absolutely as quickly as possible without having to create a website or use any other tools. And the best thing is, this is working. In April, over 4,000 creators launched a ConvertKit landing page. And for those of you who have your own audiences, then you know how important that is to be able to get that first landing page up and to start getting those first subscribers. So 4,000 people encountering that in just in one month is really special. And over time, we're going to be adding a lot more templates and coming next month, you're going to be able to bring your own domain to all of your landing pages. So that's landing pages in ConvertKit. Uh, the next thing that I want to show you is talk about the writing and design experience. And to do that, I want to introduce you to Daniel Wallace. So Daniel is a novelist and a teacher from the UK who now lives in Knoxville, Tennessee. And as an author, he really cares about the writing experience in the, in the new email editor. So I want to show you that really quickly. Um, we now have a clean, sim simple writing experience. There's no clutter in menus or anything like that. You can uh, write out your content, um, add in personalization. It also has full markdown support. So if you want to drop in headers, things like that, uh, bullets, and without going over and switching to your mouse. So it's really clean and focused in that area. And then, of course, um, yeah, no need to uh, take your hands off the keyboard. And then, of course, you can drop in images, uh, buttons, any of those other things to add rich media to your emails. Uh, in this case, that image came in really large, so let's just resize it. And then we can also add captions to images. And we're going to keep adding more and more sources for the images so that over time you can pull not just from Unsplash, but also from Instagram and other places. In this case, you can also drop in HTML if you want to quickly add uh, social media graphics. And then the other thing is this whole writing experience previews live in the template that you're using, uh, which you can switch really quickly and easily. And this is what Daniel had to say about 
the email editor. So the new email editor is such a smooth writing experience that I find myself looking forward to contacting my audience. The mental barrier to composing is now so much lower. Now, let's talk for a second about the template, right? For a long time, we've been firm believers in uh, plain text or very simple emails. And I still believe that because the content is the most important thing. But sometimes you want the ability to create a more unique template uh, without having to write code. So we now have that as well, where you can streamline your template, uh, start to change the colors. We can jump in and let's throw a rounded corner on, uh, on this box here. Let's go ahead and insert an image. In this case, I'm going to just drop in the ConvertKit logo. Comes in large, but we can center it and then drop it down to more manageable size of like 300 pixels. And then what we can do is we can change the font uh, style, jump over to a serif font, increase the font size, change the line height, and we have a really nice looking template really quickly. Uh, let's change the default button color so it's on brand. And then also down in the footer, we can go ahead and take that out of the content area, put it down below the footer um, so it looks nice. Let's just center that. And there we go. So this is a whole rich text email template that we created without writing any code. Does that sound good? Yeah. One of our other customers, uh, Robert Williams, had this to say about the, the new editor. He said, I love the new editor. Writing is at the heart of my marketing. And I've been looking for an app that puts care into the writing experience forever. As a creator, my business hinges on connection to my audience. And this allows me to get closer to that than ever. So that's something that we care deeply about the writing experience. And that's why we've released these new features. But it's not just about the shiny new features that matter. The way we think about it, you're out there blazing your own trail. But there are these thorns in your side holding you back. Things that get in the way repeatedly as you're setting up emails, sending out the next thing. And we've been hearing about some of these over and over again. And we want to make sure that we take care of them so they're not an issue for you going forward. And the first one is, what happens when you open a new automation? And you say, great, let's create a new visual automation. What should we do? There's this blank slate in front of you. And that's not the best experience because you don't know where to go from there. And so what we're doing is launching a template library. So now you come in, select from templates, either an evergreen newsletter, uh, a product launch, a webinar sequence. It copies directly into your account. You can scroll through this, customize your products, uh, your content, and you can know where to go to start. The next problem that we're running into, or we see creators encountering, is what do you do when you need help? Right? You want to invite someone to your account. And then for those people who uh, you bring in to get help from, you want to, you know, they're having to log out of their account and log into yours, and you're sharing passwords, and that's not a great experience. And so now we have the ability to add multiple users to every account and make switching between accounts completely seamless. <laughs> and then the last problem that uh, we've solved for you today is if you've ever wondered what to do with all of these forms and sequences that are in your account, and maybe they're not getting any use, or you created it once to try something out and it doesn't have any subscribers, but they're hard to find because you, know, you have 40 or 50 forms in your account. So now we have the ability to sort and filter your forms based on um, newest, when they're created. Yeah, there's plenty of people who feel that pain. Uh, you can also toggle over to a list view and see all the information much more densely. Um, and really, we just want to take care of all of these little things that you encounter uh, that block you from creating great content and getting it out to your audience. But none of this matters without the ability to scale. And ConvertKit has hit pretty incredible scale over the last year. So just in the month of May, we sent 851 million emails. So that's nearly a billion interactions that creators have with their fans. And we've expanded beyond just bloggers in years past. And now creators like Arnold Schwarzenegger and Tim McGraw use ConvertKit to reach their fans. We're pretty excited about it. <laughs> you might be thinking, though, OK, that's cool. Almost a billion emails. But what does that do for me? Well, I told you that we have your back. 
And there's certain things, certain experiences that happen across all email platforms that we want to make sure never happens to you. And that's when you have a webinar coming up or a product launch and you hit send on the email and it doesn't send right away. It doesn't get there right on time. So I'm happy to say that based on or because of all the infrastructure work that we've put in over the last year, now 95% of emails of all broadcasts finish sending within the first minute. So it goes out right away. Now, the last thing that I'm especially excited about is in the, a year ago, on the stage, we announced that we have the ability for all of you to track revenue and purchases inside of ConvertKit. Now, one thing that that means for us is that we can track our success as a company based on how much you earn as a creator. And so in that year since we announced that, I'm happy to say that $273 million has been earned by creators using ConvertKit. That's a quarter of a billion dollars. We're especially excited because that's our mission. We exist to help creators earn a living. But our mission to help creators extends far beyond everyone in this room or our current customers or even those that we think will be customers over the next year. Because we believe that when we meet basic needs, we enable creative potential. And so with that, we obviously focus on software, but outside of that, we're focusing on three areas. Shelter, water, and medical care. So last year, we announced a partnership with an organization called New Story Charity. They build houses for uh, displaced people in Haiti, El Salvador, and other countries around the world. And we've been working with them to fund some of their houses, but now we're kicking off a much bigger project with them starting next month. And that's that in El Salvador, they're working to build a new community of 3D printed homes. And the things with these homes, the 3D printing really decreases the cost, streamlines the whole process. And our commitment to them is to build one home per month. And uh, based on these renderings and everything, we're really excited for them to break ground next month. Next is our partnership with Charity Water. Clean water is critical to a vibrant life. And water projects directly in a community, we're saving individuals dozens of hours each week going to collect water. And we think of that not just as saving time, but really freeing up time and energy to pursue other things. That could be just improving life, starting a business, or, or other creative projects. And so our commitment with Charity Water is to build one new water project every quarter. And then finally, last year, I showed you this photo. This is a photo of a piece of land in Burma. I told you the story of how we're working with Earth Mission Asia to, sorry, I get a little choked up thinking about, because I know a lot of stories behind this. Um, to build a new medical clinic in Burma and to bring a quality of medical care to an area of the world that has never had it. They've broken ground on the buildings. This is the dorms thing. and the clinics. And I'm really happy to say that uh, the medical students are going to move in soon to really accelerate the work and start seeing patients. Uh, our partnership with them is something we think about long term. This is the rendering of the hospital that they sent us that they're, uh, the architects are starting to draw up. This will be a few years down the road, but um, we're going to work with them long term to, uh, to help fund that. So to recap, our commitment to creators worldwide is to build one home per month 
one well per quarter, and to contribute $50,000 per year towards building the clinic and hospital in Burma. I want to say uh, thank you. Uh, I always tease my team that it's not a real team retreat unless I cry in front of all of them. So <laughs> you're basically all part of the family now. I just want to say thank you for making this possible. From our whole team, we're having the time of our lives building this product, serving this community, and building the projects that we believe in to really have an impact on the world. Now, you've seen these shirts around. Our team's wearing them to say default to generosity. You have them now, too. That's not just a saying. That's the core of our company. It's the core of being a creator in our world. And with that, I want to finish just with one more story. This is a creator who wrote into support, I believe, just last week. He talked to Kyle. Kyle did his normal, fabulous job. Didn't think, think anything of it. Then we got this email. Understand that ConvertKit is more than a tech tool. This is our livelihood, my reputation, my business, my legacy, and my sustenance depends on how careful and mindful of my subscribers I am. You know, it's funny. People always ask, what do you do? And the default answer is, I work for an email marketing company. But emails like this make it crystal clear that it's so much more than that. It's all about supporting and serving creators. It's about creating the tools and the experiences that can really support your business, and your legacy, and your sustenance. And I just want to say thank you for ha having us. Thank you for being a part of this community. And thank you for enabling us to support you in that way. Because creators, we have your back. Thank you. <laughs>